How about Wadil non-organic findings? It is controversial and it deals with the patient that are malingering, that exaggerate, patient that have secondary gain. It is controversial. How about Trendelenburg gait involvement because of the spine? That's when you start getting L5 nerve root, like posterolateral disc between L4 and L5, you will get L5 nerve root. How about burst fracture? If it is stable, the orthosis and the surgery are equivalent in clinical outcome. So you put the orthosis, you ambulate the patient. The absolute indication for emergency surgery is progression of neurological deficit with spinal canal compression. When you have a low lumbar burst fracture and laminar fracture, you may have trapped nerve roots. You may also have dural tear. The treatment will be laminectomy, reduction, and fixation. Seed built lumbar spine injuries may have abdominal injuries like colon injuries in children. The dominant contributing factor in intervertebral disc degeneration is genetics. The risk factor for the development of adjacent segment degeneration is laminectomy adjacent to the fusion. The complication of the spinal fusion is adjacent segment disease, which can be a slip instability, disc herniation, facet arthritis, or a fracture. 30% of lumbar fusion will develop adjacent segment degeneration 10 years after the surgery. Some people think lumbar total disc replacement reduces the incidence of the accelerated degeneration of the adjacent segment. A point about thoracic disc, usually male, you have radicular pain, the pain radiates to the ribs and anteriorly at the same level. You will have gait disturbance, normal upper extremity exam, Lower extremity exam, you have upper motor neuron findings, you'll find clonus and pepineski. You will start by getting the plain x-rays before you get the MRI. MRI, although it's a good study, it will have a high false positive rate. Surgery is done if the patient has myelopathy and laminectomy is contraindicated.